Uh, hello. Welcome to my channel. Uh, today I'll give you guys a basic tutorial on Flat.io to create music. But before we do that, please like and subscribe so I can do a tutorial on MuseCore. Because I can't afford it right now and I need that money. Please add revenue out. So, first, you'll need a flat.io account. You can either use an existing email or create a new account. After signing in, you'll be transported to the main page. On the right, there should be a big blue button that says New Score or Tab. Click that button and enter a title for the song. I'll use the title Example Score for this score, but you can use whatever you want. The website will then ask you for the instrument you want. For now, we'll use the grand piano because it's the most intuitive. Uh, why is my computer frozen? Oh wait, I forgot I left that TNT simulation. Oh. After the creation of your song, you'll be transported to the main score editor, assuming your computer is still alive. Now, on top, there's the toolbar. Your musical toolbox. There are three main places you'll need to know for basic score creation. Notes, dynamic, and measure. Since this is a basic tutorial, I'll skim over them very quickly. The other sections I didn't cover will also be covered in a more advanced tutorial. The first section you'll find upon creating a score is notes. This is where you can find basic functions like note lengths and accidentals, which are basically note decorations that change the pitch of a note. Here are all the necessary shortcuts. If you can't remember, there will be a link in the description with all the shortcuts covered in this video. After notes, we'll skip our decoration and ornament before we arrive at dynamics. The role of dynamics is basically to change the volume of parts of a song. In the middle, we have many dynamics ranging from pianissimo or triple piano to fortissimo or triple forte but you only need piano and forte for your first few songs. Over on the left, we have crescendo and diminuendo, which basically means louder and quieter. Here are the corresponding shortcuts as well. Moving one space to the right of the toolbar, we find measure. This is where you find the main technical parts of the song. These three features on the left are used for adding and removing bar lines. In the middle, we have clef, key signature, time signature, and tempo which I'll go into depth in another video. Finally, we got the double bar line and repeat bars on the right. The repeat bars mark a section off for repeating. Well, the double bar line basically marks the end of the song. I'll go in depth on those in another video. But for now, you can spend the next few moments watching me compose a basic song with these tools as an example.